Elon Musk can speed up the internet in Africa. The South African-born global tech mogul's Starlink satellite constellation already has a foothold on the continent. Will Musk's satellites benefit Africa or hold it back? Welcome to the flip side. Unlike conventional satellites, those that are owned and operated by Starlink are much closer to the surface of the Earth. Hence, they transmit much, much, much faster. In our own studies as well, we see that uh, if you are looking into parts of Africa, for example, in Ghana, uh, if you use Starlink, then your connection is significantly faster than if you were to use terrestrial internet. Starlink satellites are already hovering over 14 African countries and 30 more are on their way this year. Musk has also been courting leaders in Africa for further investment. He recently met up with the presidents of South Africa and Namibia. So, better internet access for rural areas. Sounds good in theory, right? But what will be the effect on Africa's own internet providers and the telecom sector? A foreign company coming in, doing the BM minimum, and then taking market share from other companies that have invested heavily in the continent uh, and that are also providing jobs for you know, thousands of people. Because, you know, Starlink does not invest in infrastructures in Africa. In fact, they don't, they don't really hire people. The, the few people that have got working for them in Africa, they are they're mostly Americans that just come into Africa. They're not providing local jobs. Um, you know, they're not building infrastructure. They're not investing in infrastructure. A lot of African countries have invested heavily into satellite communication structures. So they are hesitant to give out licenses. Foreign companies have to adhere to local regulations. Cameroon even banned Starlink. Like I, I know in Nigeria, for example, the telcos cannot just wake up tomorrow and increase price. But guess what? At the beginning of this month, Starlink woke up and they doubled the price of their services in Nigeria. Nigeria was the first country in Africa to sign up to Starlink in February 2023. Today, analysts say the Musk enterprise is the fourth or perhaps even the third biggest internet provider in the country of more than 200 million people. And it's on a trajectory that could make it the leader. But soon enough, uh, this might happen uh, that they uh, monopolize their entire market. And if you're dependent only on Starlink as your primary network operator, they might hike up prices. And right now even, the starting kit to set up Starlink is not affordable to everyone. You know, the next couple of months will be defining because uh, it's either Starlink is going to win and you know probably at some point gain monopoly of the market or maybe African governments will start coming up with uh, some regulatory uh, challenges to, to ensure that the market is fair for everyone else. And that's the flip side.